almost ready to depart from runway 10 left at Montgomery Field in San Diego, California. Now, I've completed the takeoff checklist for you. I would like you to do the takeoff and climb, but don't worry. There's nothing you can do on this flight that will hurt you, me, the airplane, or your computer. So remove those hands from your eyes and let's have a good time. Let's review the takeoff procedure. As you apply full power, the airplane will accelerate. When the airspeed indicator reads 55 knots, apply gentle, gentle rearward pressure on the joystick and pitch the nose up just high enough to cover the distant horizon with the very top part of the instrument panel. The airplane will accelerate to our final climb speed of 75 knots. Now when it does, pitch up a little or to maintain 75 knots, move the joystick forward or rearward slightly to maintain this climb speed. Now I want you to release the brakes by pressing the period key. Then apply full power by pushing the throttle all the way forward or pressing the F4 key. Divide your attention between the airspeed indicator and the runway as the airplane accelerates. We're looking for 55 knots. Stay on the runway. There's 45 knots. Stay on the runway. Okay, there's 55 knots. So pull back a little on the joystick to pitch up slightly and start climbing. Hold that miniature orange airplane and its little orange nose dot on the attitude indicator between the second and third black lines that are located above the thin white horizon line. Push forward on the stick. This should keep the airspeed close to 75 knots during our climb. We're climbing straight ahead, so move the stick left or right as needed only if the airplane starts to turn. 